everyone, it's Skidoo and it's pajama time and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Holo's 10th anniversary ver figure from Good A Smile Company. Sorry, I keep getting distracted, the box. I love the art for this piece and I love how the figure turned out. I'm really excited to see her in person. Um, all of the pictures that I've seen of her look gorgeous and I'm extremely excited. And because I ordered her for directly from Good Smile Company, right on their website, they gave me a little postcard as a bonus. I believe Amiami had a, like, acrylic stand that was this art, or acrylic, like, piece, like an acrylic square that was of this art. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get that one because I ordered directly from them because I ordered, like, I made a huge order, which is cheaper shipping if you do it through Good Smile Company that way. You can get discounts on Ami on Me as well. It's just shipping has to be like per figure or per order of the month kind of thing. Where with Good Smell Company, you can order like as many figures as you want as long as you pre order them all at the same time. So if you have a bunch of figures that are up for pre order that are all released different months, like pre order them all at the same time through Good Smell Company because once you do that, you'll be able to, you only get charged shipping once, which is like 2,000 yen, which is about what like $25 Canadian something like that um about 20 bucks American so if you do that you get like all your figures shipped each month of their release and you only spend the shipping once and that's it it's it's really nice so literally you can have like a billion fucking huge figures like this and it doesn't matter so let's open her up already The inside of the box is just a plain yellow, so nothing fancy there. And she does have a little... Actually, I don't even think that's an instruction book. No, yeah, it says handling instructions, but we're fine. She's pretty simple. She just has a base in her. Here's how she's packaged in the plastic. And there's tape along the edge, so I'm just going to cut this. Okay, let's pop the top off. And her base is here separately in its own plastic. I think the base looks really nice. I love that they did the grass and they actually shaded it nicely like this. I think it turned out really pretty. I like the design. It's kind of nice to have a base that's not just a like plain circle. I much prefer having something like this. Let's pull her out of here. So she is, as you can see, covered in plastic and bubble wrap. So let's pull all of this off. There's plastic in between her tail and in between her belt thing. This bead looks so cool. Also, if you want to see a video of me taking a closer look at this figure, please check the description below. I will link that video there. There's bubble wrap around her arm and her mug of beer. As you can see, the beer is splashing out of the mug. Oh my god, it looks so good. I am so excited. If you can see, that's how it looks like that. So this is how she looks. I'm going to put her on the base here. Oh my god, she looks so beautiful. So back in the day, I was trying to cut down on figure buying. So I told myself, hey, also it is this foot here that the peg is going to go into. I was trying to tell myself, hey, like, you need to cut back on figures. So I told myself I was going to only buy one figure per character that I liked. Um, one figure and one Nendroid. And unfortunately, that did not work. I have, like, a billion Nendroids and, like, I have a Nendroid of her and I have now two figures of her. But I couldn't not get this one. I have the naked version of her, which I also love. It's one of my favorite figures, actually. Um, but seriously, how do you say no to this one? Sorry, give me a second, I'm gonna put this on. Okay, now that she is securely on the base, this is what the figure looks like. This is how she turned out. Um, she's so pretty, I'm really happy with her. She's definitely going on my favorites list, I think. The way they did the tail and the way they did her hair. The only complaint that I have, which I will talk about again layered, later, is that her tail and her hair are going in a different direction. Um, which is like, is that like maybe possible depending on if she's flipping her tail the one way 
and her hair is just blowing another way, but it just seems a little odd in my opinion. Um, I still love the figure, like, I don't really care about physics that much, to be honest. I think she looks gorgeous. Um, the only other thing that I complain about, which I'm probably also going to mention again in the closer look, is the fact that her tail, um, like, tails don't work like this. She has a wolf tail, not a horse tail. So that's my like main complaint is the hair is very long and flowy like hair on a head or hair on a horse where hair on like a dog or a wolf tail is like it grows all the way down it doesn't grow from up here it grows like down the actual tail itself where like horses just have like a thing of hair and then that's what this looks like. But like wolf's tails they actually have a tail and then the hair grows off it duh like anyways that'd be my main complaint but I think she turned out really really gorgeous I'm gonna lower this a little bit so you can see her better she just turned out so pretty <sighs> anyways I've rambled on enough in this video that is all she comes with it's just her in the base in the box that is all I'm very very happy with her and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I'll link her closer look in the description below so you guys can check that out. Um, I'll also link all of my social media in the description below if you want to follow me on Twitter or my figure collection. Or, like, feel free to add me on my figure collection. You can see the figures that I have and what I have on order. So you can see what I plan on doing unboxings for and that kind of thing. That's always fun. You can always message me on there as well. And I have a Facebook page up there as well. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Sometimes I just post uh, what new figures I'm interested in or what new figures I'm excited to see getting figures, that kind of thing. So you can check out my affiliate links in the description below as well. I get a small commission, so thank you guys so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. It helps me out a lot. Um, you can check those out through CD Japan and Tokyo Taco Mode. You might be able to pick her up on one of the websites. I'm not positive she's still available, but you can check it out just in case. And yeah, that's it. Just check out the links in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.